So you have a Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, S8 Plus, or the S8 Ultra, and you have an issue where you're stuck in a boot loop where it's constantly restarting over and over or every like three minutes or 10 minutes or whatever, it just keeps restarting, all right? You're stuck in a boot loop. I'm gonna give you several uh, possible fixes right now. They're all easy fixes, okay, that you can do right here, right now. Nothing to do with taking this apart, okay? First thing to note is that this one is actually fixed, but let's just pretend I'm stuck in the boot loop because it just keeps restarting, okay? So first thing that we wanna do is if you have a case on here, take the case off. Next thing is what we want to do for the first step is we want to perform a forced restart. We want to force a restart. And how you do that? Simple. You simply want to press and hold two buttons, okay? It's going to be the power button and the volume down. Power button, volume down. Press and hold both buttons at the same time. Do not let go until we see a Samsung logo appear, okay? So we're going to do this together. Let's pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop. It just keeps restarting. What you want to do is power button, volume down. Ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons. Do not let go. Keep on holding. Don't worry about what's happening to my screen. Let's just pretend that I'm still stuck in a boot loop here. I'm just holding down the power button and volume down. This will take typically take about 30 seconds, so just keep holding on both buttons. Do not let go. Now, if you're holding this after one minute, go ahead and let go and move on to the next step. Okay. Anyway, I'm still holding here. Where is that Samsung logo at? Still holding. Samsung logo, I just felt it vibrate. Let go of both buttons and just wait for it to boot up normally and hopefully you are now out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in the boot loop, we're gonna to go to the next possible fix. Okay, so the next possible fix, what we're gonna do is this. First thing is go ahead and grab your tablet. We wanna find the power button. What we wanna do is spam the power button. Spam as in press it in and out quickly like a crazy guy. So here's the power button here. In and out like this, the power button. What can happen is if your power button is uh, not functioning properly, or it's stuck, jammed, or maybe you got like soda in there, or you could have, could have got water in there, coffee in there, it can cause issues uh, with a, it can cause boot loops as well, okay? So spam it a bunch of times. There we go, that's good enough. Now, we're gonna grab our charging cable, and what we're gonna do is give it a little bit of power. So I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna wait about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now, what I'm gonna do is, again, we're gonna force restart it while it is plugged in and charging, okay? So again, pretend I'm still stuck on the, um, the boot loop here. So power button, volume down. Ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons. Continue to hold, do not let go. Pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop here. It's still charging, it's still plugged in. Still holding on both buttons here. Where's that Samsung logo at? Keep on holding. Again, it takes about 30 seconds or so. Still holding here. Still holding. So now when you see that Samsung logo, let go. Samsung logo, let go of both buttons and let it boot up normally and hopefully it'll boot you up into the login screen. If you're still stuck on the boot loop, we're gonna go to the next possible fix. Okay, so you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. So now what we want to do is unplug it. And the next thing we're going to do here is what I call the tap method. What we're going to do is grab the tablet like this, grab two fingers, and we're going to tap two fingers all over the screen and all over on the back. And the basic premise behind this is it's possible you have something slightly dislodged. It could be like a ribbon or whatnot, and a simple tap can pop it back into place. So again, we're going to go ahead and tap the screen and tap the back. We're going to start off on the screen here. You can hold your tablet like this and get two fingers. And what you're going to do is tap kind of hard, okay, all over the screen like this. Keep on going all over on the edges, all over. And sometimes as you're doing this, you know, you'll see um, you're stuck in a boot loop still. But sometimes as you're doing this, all of a sudden, boom. You know, it's, um, you'll see your login screen. It'll, the boot loop will stop. Anyway, keep on tapping for a little bit. Okay, we're done with this side. Let's go to this side now. The back, same thing. Two fingers and tap everywhere. Even all around this camera lens around here. Tap, tap. All over. 
Now, go ahead and turn over to the screen and see if you are out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in a boot loop here, no problem. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to force restart it from here. Remember, power button, volume down. Press and hold both buttons and do not let go until you see the Samsung logo appear. Now, the thing is, this typically takes about 30 seconds. So when you're holding down the power button and the uh, volume down, you know, after like 15 seconds, then when you see the Samsung logo, go ahead and let go. Okay. And again, it takes, typically takes about 30 seconds. So if the tapping method didn't work, then we're going to go to the next possible fix. Next possible fix I have for you is what I call the massage method. What we're going to do is we're going to massage the phone. We're going to massage the screen and on the back. This is the same premise as the tap method. Okay. You might have something slightly dislodged and a little massage can um, pop, pop whatever needs to be popped into place and turn your tablet or um, uh, get yourself out of the boot loop. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and hold the tablet up like this. You can use a cloth or a rag. You, you don't have to. You can go like this, but it's going to, it's going to smudge everything. But just put a towel on there and you want to hold it like this. And then what you want to do is just use your thumbs and we want to press in, press in, press in all over. Give it a nice massage all over. Press, press. And sometimes as you're doing this, you, you might hear a little click. If you, if you hear a click, just wait until the um, is done like rebooting and then um, a lot of times you'll be out of the boot loop as well. Okay, simply as we're doing this. Okay, if you hear a click, remember. If you hear a click, then you probably got it, okay? Anyway, just keep massaging here. Pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop here. Massage everywhere. Same thing on the back here, okay? The back, press, press, press all over. Press, and you can see I'm pressing the screen here as well as I'm doing this. Press, press, all over. Nice massage, even all around the camera lens here. Press, press. If you hear a click, go ahead and turn your uh, tablet over and just wait for it to boot back up properly and you're probably out of the boot loop, okay? Anyway, just keep on massaging. Press, 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 all over, all over, all over. Turn it over, and if you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. Same thing from here again. We're going to force restart it. Power button, volume down. Press and hold both buttons, and do not let go until we see the Samsung logo appear. Then we can go ahead and let go. All right? If you're still down, we're going to go to the next possible solution. So the next solution I have for you is what I call the smack method. The premise behind that is the same with the tapping and the massage, okay? So for the smacking, what we're going to do is we're going to smack it. We're going to smack all over on the screen and all over on the back, okay? It doesn't matter which side we start on, but we'll just start on the screen here. And uh, you, you, you can put a cloth here or, or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Or a rag or a towel or something. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off, put my palm out like this, grab my tablet. All over on the screen, all over. Also on the bottom of the screen, don't forget. Now we want to go ahead and smack the back. Okay, same thing on the back, all over. All over. Okay, and then go ahead and turn over to the screen side. And if you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem from here again. We're going to do the same thing. Force restart. Remember, hold these two buttons down and wait for the Samsung logo to appear. Then let go. Okay? And hopefully you are up and running now. If you guys are still down, then the next method I have for you is what I call the freezer method. Why? Because I want you to put this tablet in your freezer. So grab your tablet just like this. It's nice and naked. Go to your freezer. Put it in your freezer and leave it there for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I want you to go back to the freezer and grab your freezing cold tablet and just look at the screen, okay? Or actually press the power button and see if the um, you're out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in the boot loop, then same thing with your cold tablet, force restart it. Power button volume down. Press and hold both buttons and do not let go until you see a Samsung logo appear. Now, the thing is, if you tried all of these steps and it's still stuck in a boot loop, then what I would suggest is start over the beginning of the video and try every single step again. Doesn't work a second time, try three times, four times. Try it up to seven times because a lot of times the seventh time is a charm. Sometimes the eleventh time is a charm too.
So the trick is if you don't want to take anything apart, you just got to keep trying that and hopefully you'll get lucky on one of the tries. Now, if this worked for you, give me a like, comment which method worked for you, and we should have at least the 70% thumbs up. If it worked for you, thumbs up. If it didn't work for you, make sure you thumbs down, okay? Good luck, guys.